Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to block websites um, for users on Windows Server 2008. Um, yeah, so we need to go on to start and then we're going to go to administrative tools and we now need to go to group policy management. Okay, so we now need to select a group policy. So if you watch my last tutorial, you will know how to do this. And we're simply going to right click and go on to edit. And this now brings up our group policy management editor. Okay, so we're about to edit a policy for this actual unit, so S4. Okay, so the user that's in there won't be able to access the website that we're about to block. So we're going to go to user configuration because it's a user thing that we want to block. And we need to go to policies. Windows settings, Internet Explorer, let me just move that over a bit so you can see, and we need to go to security, okay, and over on the right here we've got security zones and content ratings, okay, so we need to double click that and you'll end up with a window that looks like this. So we now need to go on at the bottom here where it says content ratings. We need to go import the current content rating settings and we need to go modify settings. Okay, and once you've done that, you'll have a window that looks like this. So we're now gonna to go to approve sites. Okay, and this is where we list the websites that we do not want a, our users that are assigned to this group policy to be able to access okay so i don't want them to access facebook so oh um yep so facebook.com never okay um yeah so they'll never be allowed to access facebook but okay let's say um google as well I don't want them to uh, ever be able to access google.com, but they would be able to access google.co.uk, so we'd have to add that in as well. But yeah, so that is how we block a website. So we now need to hit apply, and there you go. So we can also, if we go across to general, we can now add a password, okay? So, as you can see here, it is ticked. Supervisor can type a password to allow users to view restricted content. So, if we click create a password, and then we type in a password. Okay. Okay, that don't match up. <laughs> there we go. Right, so we can type in a password. Hit OK. Um don't want to do a hint because oh um no hint because if we do a hint then a user um if it's a child at school or an employee at work they might be able to figure out your password from the hint okay so if we hit apply so now if yeah so it says it just there so now if we were to go on the web browser type in facebook.com it will pop up with a window saying type in the supervisor password and you can view this site okay and that is it if we hit okay now and if we just close that and if we just go onto our group policy and there you go you can see computer sluggish is in there my user and now if we go on to settings just close that, ignore that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's got the security slash security settings content ratings added. Okay, so that is it. That is how you add a block policy on certain websites on Windows Server 2008. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit that like button below and subscribe for more Windows Server 2008 tutorials.